Sheffield United are going back down to the championship. I mean, which is 14 points after 31 games in the Premier League. It's practically confirmed that, yup, they are getting relegated. I mean, it's pretty evident that Sheffield are lacking quality in key areas to survive in the Premier League. And that's exactly why we're here to fix the situation. Our job is to take Sheffield from 20th in the Prem to 1st in the Premier League. Now, here are the rules for today's challenge. The objective is, of course, to win the Premier League. We can sign any players we want, but a difficult challenge is that we need to have five English players in the team at all times. So that's definitely going to spice things up. We've got to simulate every single game, but if we do get to a final, that's a game that we can play. So sit back and relax and maybe get yourself some drinks and snacks because this could prove to be a long one. If you guys do enjoy these fixing challenges, I'd really appreciate if you could spare a second and drop a like on the video. 4,000 likes, how about that? That'd be awesome. And also suggest me what team we should be fixing next week. Subscribe for daily FIFA 21 career mode content and also catch me on Twitch. That's where I record these videos live for you guys taking into account your suggestions as well but anyways let's get this underway with season one season one and this is what we're working with sheffield and it's not good it's it's really not good i mean a few high potential players like ambadu ramsdale but apart from that it's a terrible team no wonder sheffield are bottom of the premier league a few talents on the bench like brewster and we got to take a detailed look at the team but overall not impressive chat it's 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 going to take us a while to make this team insane. And what are we looking at financially? About 20 million to spend. We're going to have to be smart. In this first season, we're not winning anything. So it's all about just building a good foundation. Guys, we've just found an unbelievable talent in our youth squad. Ibrahim Baxter. He's English as well. Centimid, already 74 rated. 83 to 94 potential. I'm just going to promote him to the senior team right now and put him in the first team. That is... Literally like a quality signing we've just made already and for pretty much free. First signing we've made is a pretty expensive one. We decided to invest our first uh, signing in a striker, 20 million to sign Ollie Watkins. We need a good core of English players and that starts up top and that's why I've signed Watkins. Good stats all around, the pace is there, potential is there as well. Let's hope he'll score a ton of goals for us in this challenge. We've just signed Handanovic for like 2.7 or 2.5 million actually. A big deal for us, but now that does mean um, we've got an 87 rated goalkeeper in the ranks and we also have a talented keeper in Ramsdale. So what I'm thinking guys, I loan out Ramsdale for this first season, let him grow with how broken loaning out players is. And next season, we bring him back once he's high rated. I think that's what we're going to do for now. Handanovic gets in the team. Another big signing in Curtis Jones. He's English, helps with the objective and has got high potential. And with that, our midfield is going to be insane. We signed him for like 7 mil. So it is a pretty good deal. Okay, so after the first window of signings, this is how the team looks like. A lot better than what we had before. Ollie Watkins up top, Curtis Jones, Burge and this Youth Academy prospect in midfield. The back line's okay. Handanovic in goal. I'm expecting to survive the Premier League. I mean, we finish like between 10th and 15th. I'll take that. Anyways, let's now sim until January and see where we're at. We're stuck in 19th. I thought we had a good team. I don't even know how this has happened. With an 87 rated keeper, we're stuck in 19th, guys. I have no explanation, man. I have no explanation. That's probably the worst start I've ever had to any fixing challenge. Well, at least we're not bottom of the league, courtesy of Palace, but... It's going to be a massive fight to just survive the Prem this season. And we don't even have that much cash to improve the team. We could get even sacked. And that's the challenge. Failed. Completely failed. Done. There's no do-overs. So we can't let that happen, guys. Um, Yeah. Guys, I think I've lost hope for our first season with Sheffield because we don't really have money to do anything. We've got like 3 million in the bank. And I don't think that's going to make a difference to this team at all. So we're just going to sim to the end. And just hope we don't get relegated, okay? I've changed the system. We're playing a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. The 5 at the back just wasn't clicking. And let's hope things work this way, guys. Because I don't want to go down to the championship. For the first time, I think in any of my career modes, we're going down. We're getting relegated. 24 points is all we could get. What a disaster. Thankfully, so far we haven't been sacked. Because if we get sacked, we fail the challenge. Video done. We're in the mud. So... Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Anyways, um, let's take a look at the stats and move on to season two. All season long, we've scored seven goals with Watkins, seven with Lundstrom. Brewster scored six. Nice. P 
<laughs> These stats, I don't even know why we're looking at them. They're horrendous, guys. Anyways, moving on to season two where we'll be in the championship. That's not going to be good for us. We somehow keep our job for season two, but I don't think we're getting another chance if we choke and don't get into the Premier League for the next season. So let's make it happen. One thing, I'm changing system to a 4-2-3-1. We need wingers. Last season, we struggled to score goals. So a change of system means a lot of signings are going to happen. A lot of players will be sold. So let's see how we can make this team even better. I definitely want to see how much money are we going to be working with. 33 million? How have, we be give, how have we been given this much money while we're in the championship? I don't know, but that's that's brilliant. We can definitely do a lot with that. First signing for the brand new season, David Brooks. Um, That's probably the biggest signing we've made along with Ollie Watkins. And we got him for super cheap. I think 18 million is what we're paying for a 78 rated player. We're moving to a formation with wingers. Expect to see most of our signings this season be in those positions. So... That's a solid signing. I've used him in career mode before, I think in FIFA 20, and he was amazing. So let's hope he'll he'll reproduce that kind of talent for us and take us back to the Prem. And another big signing that we've made is Ryan Kent. We've spent big on wingers this season. Let's hope it, it benefits us, man. Ryan Kent, probably one of the most annoying players to come up against online. He's pretty good in career mode as well, but we had to spend quite a bit of cash for him, 18.6 mil. And we've burned down all the money we had. So let's see if we can make more signings. If not, I think our team should be good enough to do well in the championship though. Okay guys, so we've made a couple of signings this window. Brooks and Kent, we've got about 5 million left. But I'll keep that for the January window. For now, let's sim and see if this formation, this tactic, this setup is working or not. And where we are in the championship come January. We need to go back to the Prem after this season, man. 100%. Okay, so a bit of good news. We've, we're have we now first in the championship. So we've basically, in essence, gone from 20th to first. But yeah, not in the appropriate way. We're top of the league, 62 points. That's a very good sign, guys. Let's hope we can keep at it and get automatic promotion and win this championship because I feel like we're in the driver's seat to make it happen. So let's get it done. Another good signing we've made for like backup for the winger positions is Ama Diallo Traore from Manchester United. I'm sure you guys all know about him. Great stats all round, 73 rated, much needed squad depth. Okay, so we've got our squad sorted out. Just the one signing we're making in January in Ama Diallo Traore. I think he adds much needed squad depth. The rest of the team is looking brilliant this season. I mean, let's secure our spot in the Prem for the next one. We're going back to the Premier League and that is a big relief. It's taken us a couple of seasons to figure out the formation, the tactics and a good set of players. But we've done it now. 114 points. We've done it in style. We're going to the Premier League and hopefully never coming back here because this was painful. We're looking at Ollie Watkins scoring 28 for us this season. What? David Brooks, what a signing. Kent as well. We've invested well, guys. I think next season will be good. Like, the stats are looking so good this season for all our players. Player growth as well is looking amazing. Season 3 begins now with Sheffield. We're back in the Premier League and let's hope we'll be here for the rest of the challenge because I don't want to be going back down to the championship, man. Um, this season, Ramsdale's going to be our keeper. Handanovic is gone. His contract's expired. Also, Baxter is a snake. He has submitted a transfer request and we've got to sell him right now. Otherwise, we'll get no money for him. So... The Youth Academy prospect is betraying us, guys. We're going to have to get rid of him, so we'll be looking for a cam. Overall, our squad is much better than the last time we were here, so there is a big positive in that. We're looking at about 60 million as well to spend, so yeah, a lot of improvements. No way we're going down this season, man. No freaking way. That is absolutely a bargain, guys. A huge freaking signing. Well, Jeff Boy appreciate the sub i'm gonna have to do that part again for the video you guys won't believe the signing we've just made for like 27 and a half million jude bellingham for that price is nah man it's it's an absolute steal i feel we need to sell baxter anyway so we got to pull this off and loving it boys i've never used him in career mode surprisingly before he's going to be our cam for hopefully the rest of the series if he doesn't snake us out like baxter this man, this really hurts. This guy had the potential to be the star of this challenge, but instead he's being sold to Villarreal. Maybe at some point we can sign him again. At least it gives us a lot of cash to improve the team, which we're going to do, but I'm gutted selling him. Okay, so we forced to sell Jaden Bogle as well. It was such a good right back to have because, well, um, he refuses to sign a new contract, which is becoming a theme now in this challenge, but... We got good cash for him. We'll probably look to sign another right back now. We've just signed Max Ahrens from, of course. Um, 
Orlando. Of all clubs, he was in the MLS. I don't know what he was doing there, but we got him for like 28 million, a bit more, but a good replacement for the existing guy we had. We had to sell him because he wasn't willing to renew, but a good signing. I know Max Adams is one of the players we always sign, but there aren't many good fullback options, but I think we've got a good player in, in our team now. Another big signing after like having an insane window so far. I mean, we've signed Max Adams and Bellingham in the same window, and now we've signed up Soba. 84 rated that's probably the most expensive signing we've made 60 million is what we've paid for him but that's going to make our defense so much better we need it you know to survive the premier league so i feel like it's a signing 100 worth it this is the team we're rocking now probably the best sheffield team we've had we've went through a lot already in a couple of seasons but i'm liking the look of this side and I've, i think we can do well this season the goal is to just finish maybe mid table and build and build and build so that's the team we're rocking with the signings we've made. We're left with about 15 million, which we'll use in January. For now, let's see how we do when we reach there. Okay, so we're ninth in the Premier League. Much better. At least we're not going down this season. It's a big upgrade, guys. We're scoring a fair few goals as well. Positive goal difference. A good start. This is something I think we can really build upon. I'll absolutely take it. We've just made a pre-contract signing for next season. Somehow, Alex Collado from Barcelona was available and I snapped up on the opportunity. Squad depth for next season works out perfectly. We've just signed one player on a pre-contract. We don't have that much money to make any meaningful signing. So I'm just going to sim through the rest of the season, get this one out of the way. We're lacking squad depth a lot, so I'm not sure how things are going to go. But then again, we don't have European football to worry about, so I think we'll be just fine. Let's sim until the end and see where we finish in Season 3. Eighth in the Premier League in our third season. I mean, first back in the Prem, so that's actually not that bad. Top 8. I doubt we get Europa League, so in a way it's good because I don't want the extra games that comes with the Europa League. So, that's a good foundation we've built for us. Liverpool win the league. 80 points, but I'll take it, man. Eighth in the Premier League, three seasons in. Our team is looking amazing. So next season, maybe we start pushing for top four. Another good season from Ollie Watkins, a 22 from him. Ryan Kent with 15, Jude Bellingham with eight. Not the best of seasons for Brooks, but he'll get better, I guess. Those are the stats for the season. Top Soba coming in with a couple. Look at the ratings on some of our players. We might be winning the Premier League a lot earlier than I guess we expected. Um, Okay. Let's hop into season four. Maybe season four is when we win our first trophy, excluding the championship um, with, of course, um, Sheffield. Let's see what's up with season four. Season four begins and our team is unbelievable, but a few more improvements. And I seriously think we can challenge for top four this season, maybe even further. So we'll see what can be done. Definitely squad depth is something we need to work at because it's looking pretty dreadful squad depth wise. We've got wingers and midfielders sorted, but I would love squad depth for our defense, which is seriously lacking because we've just got one center back on the bench and that's about it. So defense is, I think, where we'll be improving a lot, hopefully, but we're not being backed by the board a lot after having our most successful season, which doesn't make all that much sense. 54 million is what we're working with in season four, but we're going to have to make do with it. We've just signed Junior Firpo from Barcelona. We've again taken advantage of the fact that his contract was expiring. We've signed a solid player for like 34 and a half million. So superb deal improves our defense massively. We needed a backup keeper and I saw that Kasper Schmeichel was available for like 5 mil. He's 84 rated so he gives us the rating as well. Just a sensible pickup. Okay, I've made my signings for now. Max Adams was the transfer we made. We didn't really have like a lot of money to do business with. But we signed Firpo of course. Um, we also brought in Kasper Schmeichel so the squad has a bit of depth. And I think we're now going to sim until January and see how things are. Every player in the first team, apart from Curtis Jones, is above the overall of 80. So I'm expecting a lot from this season. How on earth, with the team that we've got, are we 11th in the Premier League? It just makes no sense, man. We finished 8th last season. I think we'll be finishing worse off this season, which just makes no sense at all. Oh, it's, it's really frustrating. We're probably not going to get European football this season. We've got about 17 million to spend. We'll see if we can make any signings in this window. Signing a bit of experience because I think we need it. Otherwise, we could end up finishing in the bottom half of the table. We've just brought in Toby Alderweireld for about 11 million. He's only 82 rated, but he still gets into the starting 11 with that. Let's hope he can change the course of our season. So we made just one signing in this window and Toby Alderweireld. And apart from that, we just don't have the money to do anything relevant. So we're just going to ride it out until the end and hopefully end of season four. 
We can maybe finish better than we what we did last season, but that's not looking likely. So let's just see what happens. We should have finished way above 10th, guys. Like, it's embarrassing how bad we were this season. We could have easily broken into maybe top 6 with the squad we've got. 10th is embarrassing. We, we, we're just... Yeah, I feel like if the board back us next season, we could be looking at a team that could win the Premier League with the squad we've got. But... 10th with the setup currently is just embarrassing. 56 points is all we could get. Ollie Watkins still scored. Brooks scored. Ken scored. So, I don't know where did we like let up. Maybe like midfield didn't give assists or something. I don't know, dude. Curtis Jones is not growing in his overall for some reason. And I do not know why. He's maxed out his potential by the looks of things. I don't know how that's happened. Season 5 and the grind with Sheffield continues. This has been a real challenge, guys. The team is looking incredible. I don't know how we performed so badly last season. Um, uh, this season, the goal is probably to move Bellingham to centre mid and go for an insane cam. That's what I'm thinking right now. We're going to have to see in, if we've got the money to make that happen. We've got a good bench. So overall, squad depth isn't that big of an issue, especially since we're only in the Prem. The problem is the board aren't backing us all that much. So we aren't really dealing with a lot of money to work with. So we're going to have to make do with 60 million. But... Hopefully this season will be doing a lot better. The board expect us to get a Champions League spot. And if we fail them again, we might get sacked. So don't want that happening. Just made a pretty big signing in Jamal Musiala, the Bayern talent for 40 million. We needed a cam. We're going to be moving Jude Bellingham to centre mid. And we're looking at an 81 rated talented cam that we've signed. Let's hope his overall can skyrocket throughout the course of this challenge. And I think with that, guys, I'm, I'm done with my signings for this window. I know we've got still 30 million left, but I'd rather keep that until January and see where we need to invest if we're again struggling. For now, that's the team we've got. This team should be crushing it, man. Like, I feel like this team should be finishing top four minimum. We'll see if we get that this season. This is a lot better than I expected after last season. We're fifth in the league with a good chance of making Champions League football. Okay. Okay, we're one point off Man United. I'm glad I saved up some cash because maybe we can use that to now make the team even better because there's a good chance we can get Champions League football for next season. This is superb to see. Honestly, I looked at all the options we've got to sign players and there just really weren't any good available buy options. So you know what? We're just going to keep the team as is, sim until the end and hope for Champions League football. We finally get top four with Sheffield. It's been a grind. 10 points off the top, which means we're not close. We, we, I mean, we are close to winning the Premier League. I don't even know what I'm saying, but 10 points off the top. We get Champions League by a point. Fourth position, our highest ever finish. I'll take it. That's season five wrapped up. Ollie Watkins was our top scorer. I mean, he's been our top scorer since day one, pretty much. Surprisingly, Jude Bellingham with 19 after being put in a more deeper role. Kent with 14. Tapsoba Musiala did well for his first season. Went up by a couple of ratings. All in all, very, very solid season. Here we go with Season 6. I don't think in any of my challenges I've gone up to Season 6. This has been a massive grind. Looking at this team, I think what we're going to do now is pretty clear. we got to bring in a top-class keeper and maybe even a defender. So that's the goal for the rest of this team. Um, hopefully the board back us. And by the looks of things, they are backing us because they've given us $135 million to spend. Let's get into business. A massive signing as we bring back a former player. Dean Henderson is back at Sheffield. 75 million is what we've spent for him. We've now got a top keeper. There's no excuse for us not winning the Prem this season. We've spent pretty much the rest of our cash on Fikayo Tomori. Super high rated. English as well. I mean, I'm telling you, man. The team we've built is insane. That's the team we've got, guys. I mean, if this team doesn't get me maybe like top two top three in the prem there's something wrong with sheffield honestly we've been here for six seasons man the grind's getting painful let's see where we are in january we're in the champions league as well this season that's our group by the way in the champions league thankfully we've got a super easy group which i reckon we should be able to top we've managed to top our group in the champions league just about and we will be facing dortmund in the round of 16 okay I don't know if we're favourites or not, but that should be interesting. Although it seems like we're outside the top four, we're only seven points off the top. If we have a good second half of the season, we could be looking at a Premier League trophy or even top four at the very minimum. Not that bad, okay? But yeah, definitely could have been better. Kind of disappointing to be fair, but we had Champions League as well. Maybe it was the squad depth causing the issues which is something we can improve. With about just 8 million left, unfortunately, we really can't be doing much of squad depth stuff so 
we're just gonna have to push through until the end of the season and see what's up we'll see how we do in the champions league as well first leg against borussia dortmund yeah i know they've got holland and sancho but our team is pretty good as well I reckon it's going to be a lot more even than you'd expect and in the first leg it's a one-all draw as expected a super even game. We got the away goal so we've got a bit of advantage for the home leg. Not too bad guys if we can knock out a Dortmund team with Haaland and Sancho that'll be big. Second leg against Dortmund in the Champions League we've got a one-all draw from the first leg. Can we do enough to knock them out? We can. Huge from Ollie Watkins a brace and we're through to the quarterfinals huge guys this is huge we've drawn manchester united next in the champions league to be fair looking at all the teams apart from maybe barcelona i think we can definitely make it all the way to the finals first leg away from home against man united we know they've got a good team but so do we and it's a 3-1 win yo the objective of this challenge was to win the prem but if we can win them the champions league isn't that even better? Second leg against Man United. We got to get it done because we won 3-1 in the first, 1-1 in the second leg and we're through to a Champions League semi-finals. Two games away from a final, guys. We're close. Sheffield versus Atleti in the Champions League semi-finals. I'm glad we avoided Barcelona, but Atleti are going to be tough. They probably play the similar playstyle to Sheffield, but let's see what we can do in the semis. Interesting formation from Atletico. They've got a lot of talent, but so do we. First leg at home. It's a 3-2 win. They get the away goals, but we walk away with the win. A Ryan Kent hat-trick. Second leg, guys. Let's hope we don't choke. Our journey to a Champions League final. It's so close. I can see it, guys. Second leg against Atleti. Please, please get the result. I think we're out. Oh my god, I think we're out. We're gonna have to do another season, guys. I cannot believe this. On away goals, we've been knocked out in the semi-finals. We end up finishing at third in the Premier League, all things considered, which is good. A good comeback from us, but this was the season I think we could have won something, man. But we're still yet to win even like a good trophy in this challenge. Gutted, man. We're gonna do like... We're gonna keep going until we can win the Prem, I guess. So, I don't know how many more seasons are we gonna see, but let's keep going. Once again, Ollie Watkins coming through with 29 goals, top scorer. Jude Bellingham with 21. Kent with good contributions as well. He had a good season, guys. Brooks as well, solid. Musiala, 84. Um, let's just skip to season seven now and hopefully we can finally win some trophies. Season seven, guys. Hopefully this is the final season because I can't go any longer, guys. I'm exhausted. Um, Yeah, so let's just get into it. The team is looking insane. There are hardly any places we can improve. It all depends on EA if they back us with the simulations. Anyways, we've been given a lot of money to spend. Let's make good use of it. Guys, I've just signed the snake back. Ibrahim Baxter, who left the club, went to PSG and all the other clubs. His stats are insane. I've signed him to be a cam for us. I don't know if this is going to pay off. He's 88 rated. Improves the team massively. Didn't even realize he's 6'5". But anyways, he's going to be playing for us now. And that's the only signing I can make in this in this season because he was 140 million so that's our mega signing of season seven honestly with the team we've got i'm just gonna fire through the simulations Where, where's where's he gone where's our new signing gone there he is we put baxter there i think we've got a good squad now we're just gonna run with it and see where we'll be at in january come on that's the champions league group we're in and it's probably the most difficult group we've seen in these fixing challenges because psv psg celtic all fairly top teams from their respective leagues yep champions league i don't think we're gonna reach the semis this time it's gonna be a lot harder in the champions league we've managed to top our group above psg that's a really good sign and in the round of 16 we've drawn ac milan that should be interesting i'm surprised that we topped our group which is awesome now, the moment of truth, the Premier League. Where are we going to be? Second in the league, four points off Everton. I think we can win it, guys. I really think we can win it this season. It has to be this season. It has to be this season, guys. It really does. We don't really have the cash to make any relevant signings, so I'm just going to be sticking with this team and seeing if we can win the league or win the Champions League. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, let's do this. We've got a way better team than AC Milan, so I'm kind of confident that we can get the job done here. And we lost the game. Brilliant. I hate this. I hate FIFA 21, guys. I'm done. I'm honestly done. 
second leg, we, we, I don't even know. We've actually got a chance to win a trophy. It's the EFL Cup, the Carabao Cup. I don't really care about it, but I would love to win it. Come on, please don't lose this. On penalties, we won. So we get a bit of luck. We win our first major trophy, I guess. Hopefully that's a good sign for the future. Second leg against AC Milan. Can we complete the comeback? I, I, I don't believe anymore. I don't believe in this team. I cannot believe that they've lost 3-1. Next season, we need a superstar striker. Because if there's going to be another season, I don't even know at this point. But we've been knocked out in the round of 16. This Sheffield team is a, is, is a joke. I don't know how. We're six points behind Chelsea and we've lost the league. We're getting Champions League next season. But I feel like this was the season, man. We're seven seasons in and just the Carabao Cup to show for with a very good team. Once again, Ollie Watkins, our top scorer. Next season, I'm going to replace Watkins with a better striker because we need, we need someone to fight us 40 plus goals. Otherwise, it really isn't happening. Stats looking pretty average on all of them, I guess. Okay, season eight. I'm honestly done. Like this is probably going to be the final season. So let's hope we can win the Premier League, guys. I think the objective is going to be to maybe get a better striker to get more goals because I don't see where else we can improve the team because the rest of it looks insane. Good backup as well. Yeah, going to have to figure things out. We've got 140, 50 million basically to spend. Finally, guys, Ollie Watkins has been sold for a whopping 155 million. That means we're looking at around 300 million to spend. We're going to spend pretty much all of that on a striker because I desperately want a forward who will win us game single-handedly. That's the play. Guys, we've just signed Kylian Mbappe for a whopping 260 million to replace Ollie Watkins. I swear, if we don't win the Prem and even the Champions League this season, something's wrong with this video game, honestly. Another really key signing we've made in Paul Pogba from, I think Atletico Madrid was where he's at. I know he's 34, but I just wanted high-rated players for squad depth and he fitted that purpose so there you go that's it guys that's it for our signings for this summer trans window we're just now going to push through until january we can't let up this season man look at the team we've got this has to win the prem at the very minimum we're top of the league yep halfway through the season and convincingly if we bottle from here i quit i legit quit i'm gonna resign as sheffield manager and i'm done we cannot bottle from here we really can't champions league We've just about made it out of the group and we'll be up against Dortmund. Okay. We're not going to be making any signings in January. We're just going right in until the end of the season. We've got a real player in the chat playing for Portsmouth. Yo, that's mental, dude. Yo, we we'll, we'll sign you, dude. We'll sign you. Hopefully you won't be too exp- Oh, wait, you've got a release clause. Chat, should we sign him, chat? I think we should, right? We got to sign him. Champions League. We're probably going to win the Prem, but I would have, I would love to finish it off with the Champions League as well. We take on Dortmund like we did earlier on. Let's let's knock them out. We've got the way better team. With the team we've got, we've got to knock Dortmund out. Let's get it done. First leg. There's something wrong with this game, dude. There really is something wrong with this game. Arsenal Carabao Cup uh, final. Can we win it again? Hope so. Since we're probably going to get knocked out of the Champions League. Well, we do win this. It's Baxter, the snake, who's managed to score. Um, well, I guess signing him again was... Yeah, it worked out well. We've won another trophy. 2-1 from the first leg. We've definitely got the squad to make it happen. Come on, guys. Come on, get it done. Please. It's a 3-0 win. We do it, guys. Let's go. Dortmund have been knocked out, guys. Come on, Sheffield. Up the Sheffield. This could be it. Our dream to win the Champions League could be crushed. It's Bayern Munich we're facing. Oh, God. How are Everton in the quarterfinals? They've done massively well. Fair play. <sighs> we're lacking a lot of stamina on the players, but you know what? We're just going to go through with it. It's it's Bayern we're facing. First leg away from home. It's a 2-0 Sheffield win. It's written in the stars, guys. It's written in the stars. We're winning the CL this season. We're doing it. Second leg, Sheffield Bayern. We've got a 2-0 advantage. There's no way we're choking. There's no way we're choking. Come on, get it done. We almost choked, but... Yeah, we survived. One more goal for Bayern and I think they would have been through on away goals. That was close. After all we've gone through, there's no way we're getting knocked out by Chelsea. Like, nah, that's not happening. We're up against Chelsea. First leg. We've knocked out Bayern, Dortmund. We got to do Chelsea as well. Come on. Come on. Get me the result. 4-1. We're through, guys. I think we're through. I think we're through. I think we're through. It's done. 
Let's go, guys. Come on. Second leg against Chelsea. We, we're, we've already got the job done. Like, yeah. Yeah, we've done it. 2-1. Oh, he's actually scored. Haji M. Noga has actually scored. What a night for him, guys. Let's go. He's actually scored for us in the Champions League. Yo. That's mad. That's actually mad. By the way, for those of you guys watching on YouTube, he's a real-life professional footballer who's actually watching the stream right now. So we decided to have some fun and sign him and probably play him in these games. And it's paying off. We won the Carabao Cup, I think, this season. We can now win the FA Cup as well against Sheffield. Uh, against Sheffield? Against Chelsea. We're in the Champions League final. We could be winning a quadruple in our eighth season with Sheffield. Let's maybe get it done. Can we beat Chelsea in the final? We can. Mbappe and Brooks scoring. Superb, guys. That's two out of four trophies. Two more to go. We've won the Premier League, guys. Uh, eight seasons of suffering, being relegated, and we're finally here. 92 points. We've done it in style. Unbelievable, guys. Let's go, man. We've completed the challenge, but we've still got more. With, of course, the Champions League final left to be played. But my God, was this a grind. But we've got it done. What a grind, chat. What a grind. Stats-wise, Kylian Mbappe made all the difference for us. 34 goals, way more than Ollie Watkins ever did for us. Bellingham was great. Kent was good. Brooks as well. Backs to the snake. Well, no more to snake because he stepped up for us. Did pretty well. But yeah, the team is looking... I'm ready, man. I'm basically ready for the final. I don't want to waste any more time. Champions League final against Barca. Let's get into it. Unbelievable. That's the Barca team we're up against. That's our team. We're playing M. Noga. He's the real-life professional player watching the stream right now. So you know what? We've made him captain and we're playing him. And let's do this, guys. Eight seasons. Let's end it off with the Champions League trophy. Can the snake redeem himself? He feeds Mbappe. 1v1 against Barca. Killing Mbappe. Let's go, guys. We make it 1-0. Killing Mbappe with the goal. Sheffield 1, Barca 0. What a run from Killian. Oh, it's the snake who gets the assist who left us for dead early on, but returns to potentially win the Champions League with us. Let's go. What a finish from Mbappe. We're winning it, guys. Our team is too good not to win it on the pitch. EA can screw us with the simulations, but on the pitch, nah, man, we're winning this. Bellingham, he's got pace. I already see Ryan Kent making a good run. Oh, I couldn't find... Oh, Baxter, no way. I wasn't ready for that. I thought the ball wouldn't reach. Baxter, what a pass out wide. Come on, Brooks. Bring it in. Bring it in, David Brooks. Bring it in. Good pass for Mbappe. Out wide for Ryan Kent. Ryan Kent, let's go. 2-0 Sheffield. Oh, we're finally delivering on the pitch at least. Ryan Kent, 2-0 up, guys. It's... I think it's over for Barca. They're not making a comeback, guys. We're getting it done now. We're getting it done. Oh, the touch was so nice. Mbappe has to score. Why did I go for the chip? Why did I go for the chip? I thought that Stegen would come forward, but he didn't. And, uh, well, big chance missed. Go on, Baxter. Killing Mbappe. Go on, Mbappe. The pace. Nobody can keep up with Killian. Bringing it back inside. Baxter. Can I find that pass in? Mnoga. There you go. Right foot. Ah, oh, I couldn't get the shot with you, man. Because Barca are pushing. Watkins looks inside for De Jong. That is... What's, what are they doing? Are they, are they playing futsal football? I don't know what they're trying to do there. We finally get the interception. But Pedri, everyone trying overhead kicks and all. <sighs> there you go, guys. We've done it. We've just won the Champions League with Sheffield. It's done. This challenge has taken me over five hours on Twitch to record. But we've got it done. We won the Premier League, which in essence completed the challenge for us. But winning the Champions League on top of it makes it even better, guys. And that's going to be it for the video. What a journey it's been. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. But it was crazy, man. But... If you guys enjoyed this one, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a like on this one. Subscribe if you're new around here. Check out my Twitch. That's where I record these videos. And well, I'll catch you all next time.